Lesson 10 Mowgli for Class 4 English 2 Part 3 Dear children, in this section we are going to learn the vocabulary section with some new words. So, let's start with the first vocabulary exercise. Uh, in this vocabulary exercise, we are going to learn some adjectives which are used to describe the nouns given here. The nouns given here are monster, landscape, knight, village and officer. If you remember, uh, uh, Mother Wolf calls uh, Mowgli as how little, how naked and how bold. So, these words little, naked, bold are used to describe the baby. The ba baby means Mowgli. So, we have to use such words. Uh, for each noun here, we are going to use two adjectives. So, the first one, answer to the first question is Strange, enormous monster. Number two, landscape. How is the landscape? It's vast and beautiful. Number three, cold and dark night. The night is cold and dark. How is the village? Small, clean. How is the officer? brave and courageous so these words are describing the nouns monster landscape knight village and officer which are the nouns here now let's do exercise b Exercise B is a fill in the blanks exercise which talks about the right tone of voice. So some words tell us the tone of our voice. So in these sentences we are going to learn some new words which talks about the tone of our voice. Number one, the prime minister declared the death of the governor in a dashed tone. So sorrowful tone because it's a sad news so it is the voice the tone is sorrowful number two grandfather always says his prayers in a monotonous voice monotonous means in a very chanting tone <coughs> Number three, leaders have to use words that are inspirational, that inspires others. Number four, radio announcers keep their listeners engaged with light-hearted talk, which uh, in, makes the listener engages engaged with them means uh, give uh, makes the uh, listener at, uh, give their full attention to the speaker number five after repeated failure he sounded defeated and resigned means isolated himself separated himself okay now let's do exercise c Father and mother wolf were part of a book pack, means the group. A group of wolves is called a pack. When we talk of the group of the wolves, we call that, the name to that, we give a name to that group and that is pack. Same way, we are going to learn some group names for other animals that are given here. Number one, a group of several tigers is called an ambush or streak. You can say ambush or streak. Number two, a group of female lions 
is pride number 3 a group of jackals is pack number 4 a group of frogs is army colony or not a number 5 a group of fish is school or shoal so that's all for uh, uh, in the vocabulary section let's do some grammar exercises